Welcome to the Overwriting a Drive in Disk Explorer tutorial. By following this tutorial, it will overwrite your drive entirely, making any type of recovery impossible on anything that was originally on the drive. This is best used when you plan to sell a drive or a computer, and you want to make sure no one will be able to access your personal data after it leaves your hands. The first thing we need to do is start Disk Explorer. In this case, we will use the NTFS version, however you can accomplish the same tasks in the FAT version as well. We need to select the drive we will be overwriting. You must be sure you have the correct drive or else it will destroy the wrong data. Click the floppy icon to see the drive list. In this case, we have chosen an 80 GB drive with three partitions. We have chosen the physical drive and not the partition. Otherwise, it would only overwrite the partition and still possibly leave personal data on the drive. Once you're sure you have selected the correct drive, press OK. You should now be looking at the partition table of the drive. In order to achieve what we want and see the results, press F3 or click View as Hex. You are now looking at the drive as Hex. You can see information that may not make any sense, however this is your data in its raw form. The first thing we need to do here is turn on the option to write directly to a drive. By default this option is turned off. In the bottom left of the screen you can see where it says R forward slash O. Double click this and it will bring up the option menu. You need to change this to direct reads forward slash write. This is a very dangerous setting and anything you do to the drive will be permanent, so you must be sure that you have the correct drive. Once you have selected this option and you're sure you have the correct drive, press OK. We now need to select all the sectors on the drive. Press Ctrl A or select Edit, Select All. Everything will be highlighted blue at this point. We now need to fill the sectors with some type of data. Click Edit and Fill. You will now be prompted with what you want to fill the drive with. Click down in the Characters section and select anything you like. I will use a capital J. Before you click OK, be sure that you have the correct drive. You will not be prompted if you select OK. It will just start overwriting data. If you are unsure if you have the correct drive, cancel the prompt. Otherwise, press OK. You can see the progress bar moving at this point. It writes the data to the drive pretty quickly. The software is filling each sector with whatever character you told it to in hex form. You can see that it says it is filling the drive with the byte 4, capital letter A. 4A is the hex value for the capital letter J. We are going to cancel the scan to show you exactly what is happening to the drive. You do not need to cancel your scan. This is just so that you may see what the software is really doing. As you can see, the random hex characters are gone and the drive is filled with the ASCII character capital J and the hex values are all four capital A. If you proceed down further into the drive, you can still see that there's data on the drive past where we canceled. This is the reason you must fill the entire drive. We will go ahead and again press edit, select all, and then edit and fill. There you have it. You only need to do this once as it makes the data on the drive unrecoverable from software and hardware recoveries. At the same time, if you make a mistake, it will make the data unrecoverable from software and hardware recoveries. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, email us at support at runtime.org or call us at 775-884-3922 and be sure to check out our data recovery blog. There is a link at the top of our website. Have a nice day.